Good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you're from. Welcome back to the garage. That's Beanie Max attack. Um, his, you know, uh, this is the third time I'm doing this recording. It was a lot funnier the first time I did that. <laughs> I saw a video from Beanie Max attack about four years ago. It was it was a four year old video, and I don't think he's done anything more. I was just, that's, actually when I recorded the, for the first time for this video, that was a the intro that I did. It sounded really, really. Really good. Welcome back to the garage. <laughs> That's one of the old school um, model builders here on YouTube, you know. And I was looking at one of my first builds the other day, um, uh, ten minutes ago, and it's ten years old. I've been on YouTube for ten years, but we'll talk about some of that stuff here when I talk about um, some of the um, other stuff dealing here in the channel and my channel. And uh, but we'll get on that another day. But right now we're talking about um, the Chevelle. But thank you everybody for coming back to the. Um, to the channel, I appreciate it so much, and um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. There, uh, we're still doing a uh, working on the Ravel 1968 Chevelle, um, Chevy, excuse me, Chevy Chevelle. Lord have mercy, we're still working on Ravel's 1968 uh, Chevy Chevelle. This kit was uh, once again an uh, entry, uh, intro to um, international international scale modelers group build for his birthday in December 16th, I think it started, and I had a, he had a month to do it. Needs to say, I'm not done yet. I, I missed that deadline. The reason why is because I'm, I'm really putting a lot more effort into to what I'm doing because honestly, I really wanna, I really, really, I wanna get the most out of what I'm doing as far as when it comes to these kits and it comes to building and any 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 kit that I have here, because honestly, you know, it all depends on how much patience you have as a modeler. You know, minimal effort for maximum gain. Mm -mm, it don't work. It does not work. So yeah, that's my first one that I actually made. I'm pretty happy with that meme. Um, because that's hey, that's the man. But anyway, yeah, I I want maximum results, so I'm gonna put in maximum effort and try experimental things. And of all the the YouTube channels that I've seen and come across, and, and models that I've met throughout the years, and the new ones that I've met, well, been introduced to and and seen in the last oh gosh, in the last year, really well, in the last year is. It's just so many. Oh, so many. I, shoot, for the first, at one point there for like six months, I was just, wasn't building anything because I wanted to get caught up with all the, for most of the builders on, on, on YouTube now. And there's so many, so it's hard to, to find everybody. Ten years ago, it was a lot easier to find all the model builders because, I mean, you could name them off the top of your head who all the guys were. And then, especially if when you when, when you start talking about who would you find when you first watched this YouTube scale model building, you know, there's, all those top three names, say them all together with me now. Dr. Carrington, Fast Jimmy, Classic Classic 101 for sure, and there's a slew of other people too. No one to miss me, but I really don't want to. I really don't want to name names. I was just saying those are the ones you always, you know, quick to um to, to see when you're looking up stuff, and that's what um you know re um, reignited the fire with a lot of us. Many, I'm gonna be as quick as I can as uh, with this video. But anyway, um, we got the um. The frame attached to the chassis. We have the interior done. We I could have done some more work on the dash. I'm a little kind of kicking myself a little butt about it, but it's okay. I'm not upset about it. I'm not upset about that. Um, we just did wire distributor for the first time. Really, really stoked about that. We've got some boot wires coming on the block and also off the distributor, which I'm first time I actually did it like that. Did it on the distributor. It was and it took time and it. Whew, but I'm, it, it, it was complicated, but at the same time, I love the complication because I'm learning more about, okay, the next time when I do it, okay, I can do it like this or I'll do it like that and just add different things. And also the very first time I've ever, and this time I will not try to talk as fast. Um, I've wired for the first time a, a battery, battery post. I'm positive and negative, really happy about that. First time I we um, wired, I think that's, that's gonna be the water reservoir. And that's a water pump that's going to be going behind. That's going to be going behind the um, the brake boost on the on the firewall. But um, anyway, that's I'm going to let the um, the video do most of the talking. We still have to do work on the body. I have the the it's already painted. I just need to uh, buff it, shine it, get it right. And also um, we're going to have to take some time because I had I, I lost my master cylinder. I can't find it so. 
I'm still locating another one, um, a 3D printed one. If anybody can help me with that, please holler at your boy. Other than that, um, I think I said thank you to everybody. Yeah, I think I think I think I, I don't really remember, but um, yeah, I'm really really excited about the direction that things are going. Um, thank you um, for all the kind words, the words of encouragement to everybody. Thank you for all the new people, the old people. I appreciate so much, and just I mean. Let's just keep on building, everybody. You stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.